good morning hi good morning fitness finally our first day <laughs> yeah <laughs> after vaccination yeah so that is taking two days sir and it is uh, you know expected it was expected actually the fever and all those things right mm. so your yeah. whole family is vaccinated yeah no right right yeah so you are in lucknow yeah i am in lucknow okay great so my hometown is also lucknow we'll talk later about those things let's sure. get it started first focus on the target first right yeah so um so my name is ratnesh pande and i'm having having uh, 14 plus years of experience in it and i'm also mct certified uh, microsoft certified trainer uh, along with that i'm also giving training into google cloud security and uh, aws cloud security and google cloud uh, this aws cloud infrastructure and the day of engineering so around that actually and along with that many infrastructure product line and it's a big product line i'm not going to tag those lines actually okay. and uh, so i'm into the training since last 5 years it started in 2000 uh, like 15 and 16 uh, like 15 and 16 and uh, my company name is global online training and mostly our business into the us and europe so 80 to 95% i will say business coming from only us and europe and rest 5 to 10% from india okay so over okay. to you because your uh, introduction is more important because uh, i have to understand you and i have to understand your expectation from this training and what you are going to achieve and what is your next target sir over to you yeah so my name is anup i have 9 plus years of experience in it department and uh, right now i am working in sl technologies so previously i worked in ages limited in lucknow so i have worked 5 years over there in it so i am providing a support to a bpo then i moved to gurgaon so i worked over there with sri infosoft private limited and working as a senior it administrator over there then i have moved to sl technologies noida and from there i transferred to lucknow so in lucknow i am working from last 4 years and uh, i have joined as a senior it administrator over here now i am working as a assistant manager so my work is basically to provide uh, it support to sl employees to geo location as well as india so i am handling a service desk over here so we are providing the l1 support to end users and related to the vpn queries and related to the uh, inbound calls chat so these kind of things we take care and my expectation with azure like uh, i want to be a core like i am working in the core technical over here so i want to be an expert in this azure field and i want to grow our my career in this cloud department i am and i have to move further to different company to increase my salary increment as well as to get a knowledge about it yes and you know, really interesting so you are part of gst of scl yeah gst as well as itst both i itst so you you are just recalling my memories actually i was also part of it earlier <laughs> oh <laughs> so i uh, let because that is that that attachment will be there so you i will understand you how you ha- you know the growing path you can take example of mine you know in front of so uh, i have training business i am doing job also that's a confidential which company i'm mm-hmm. working but mm-hmm. i'm working with a mnc like you only right so mm-hmm. actually i was in uh, gsd scl technologies uh, where it was not into the scg area it was in a9 building okay so okay. sector sector uh, i think 3 uh, sector 3 yeah sector 3 mm-hmm. and uh, that time anupma tikku was so that gsd got started in scl so okay. actually scl was doing local support kind of you know the building kind of building manager yeah, will be building. there and mm-hmm. there will be uh, building manager and building manager and under building manager there will be few local support guys they will be supporting so global kind of picture was not there actually so they yeah. started in 2008 mm-hmm. the operation of gsd and with member five members team so i was one of them actually so okay. <laughs> uh, the gst got started and uh, we were also new to this th- that thing actually 
and uh, so it was like not local support actually we are not going to mm-hmm. you know uh, any desk and we are going to troubleshoot like laptop troubleshooting desktop troubleshooting mm-hmm. our task is to handle the uh, the global calls actually the not only global local global mix calls and getting as uh, the remedy was initiated in the scl yeah okay? presently also remedy and as success was yeah yeah so remedy <laughs> was rolled out and uh, so yeah so there was a uh, many leaders uh, track so we are we were also monitoring the data center monitoring remember our uh, scl data center where some monitoring mm-hmm. alert is coming then yeah. the network guys i think those big, now gsd is very matured in financial i know because down yeah. the line uh, t- 10 to 15 years as uh, gsd is very matured many many friends work with uh, there shekhar gupta is still there yeah shekhar gupta is there yeah those are you know bread and butter they started their career in, in the gsd only right leading mm. the gsd yeah yeah so uh, actually to start with it gsd is the first thing actually you know but mm-hmm. wasting time in gsd is also waste actually getting yeah. my point yeah i'm getting you i wasted only my one year <laughs> not more than that an expectation from you as a leader also i will say okay yeah. lead the diamonds lead the silver don't lead the coal mining okay so getting my point so problem yeah. is gsd has you're not going to get a lot of monetary benefits in gsd even hmm. suppose you are switching from scl okay so yeah. cloud is the baby catch it move on okay so let's uh, we got connected with the expectation and what is your current you know uh, role and responsibilities i got to know and what is your uh, path that is also you know we are going to achieve it so you not to worry so let's discuss something about cloud journey okay Okay. so what is a data center actually i will jump on the ppt and all those first i will want to draw some attention from our side what is data center so data center is uh, like uh, managing the uh, servers and mm-hmm. uh, managing the core part of the servers applications and all the things related to like there's a different kind of servers and support like there's a voice support there's a data uh-huh. support so all things are managed from the data center only okay i will come to this let me discuss about the remuneration part the compensation part i was in gsd i was getting 1 1.80 okay <laughs> okay the number understand the number 1.80 yeah yeah, yeah okay. i understand uh, yeah <laughs> and uh, i switched from there i went to this zevent uh, uh, actually zevent solution in in phase okay. phase 2 or phase 3 the company was it's still company there and they given hmm. 2.60 okay and now down the line uh, i will say like experience of 14 years 14 or 15 years experience i do have i'm now i'm getting 40 Oh, great! Getting my point. So yeah. that's a, that's an example I want to set before starting our discussion, and that you have to achieve not forty, at least achieve thirty, at least achieve twenty. Getting my point. Numbers yeah, matters. Course. Okay, yeah. double digit, at least go to ten minimum. Okay, that's yeah. those numbers are ma- uh, magic numbers. Okay, let's come to the point. So it's not like G- working GSD you cannot grow. You have lot of opportunities because you are. you can go anywhere actually that's that's a beauty of gst right you are yeah. free to go anywhere yeah no foundations okay so you were talking about data center let's let me draw your attention here so suppose this is your data center what you are talking about you can take example mm-hmm. of real data center for better understanding okay mm-hmm. so this is another data center and there we go another data center and this is your big thing i'm uh, writing here like drawing is like cloud this is our yeah. azure cloud or any cloud okay so this is your physical data center okay uh-huh. and this is your virtual data center uh-huh. and now the third one is 
Okay, so now tell me what is physical data center? Physical data center, which is uh, located at company sites like mm -hmm. uh, India or in India, different cities like Pune, Hyderabad. So these mm -hmm. kind of uh, physical data center over there. Okay. What virtual data center is like uh, we are working uh, okay. on. Before moving to virtual data center, what is the problem with the physical data center? Physical, the problem is that they have to, they manage from the particular site only, they cannot move it over anywhere. So mm -hmm. th that mm -hmm. is the problem and uh, they cannot able to, uh, like if they want to open the business in the abroad, so they have to do a lot of connections and intermediate. So that is a problem. They, if somebody want to use the abroad thing over there from the virtual IP, so they cannot able to do that. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So actually, in nutshell, what is TCO? TCO. It's related to total uh, cost of ownership. Ownership. Okay. Capital investment, right? Yeah. So in a physical data center, Anu, you have to invest a lot. Yeah. Investment. You have to, yes, you have to manage your cooling. You have to manage your, you know, uh, everything actually. Starting hardware, your vendor management, everything you have to do. But mm. you are into IT services. What is expectation actually from the IT services? Business should be up and running, right? Yeah, yeah, right. It should work. And there should, hours. yeah, the, yeah. That's that's the first responsibility of any IT services, irrespective mm. of cloud, irrespective of GSD, irrespective of any domain, right? So H A and the app. How you can achieve that? 24 into 7 uh, ITSD, the tagline I do remember. Uh, we also make into our signatures, right? So mm -hmm. high availability and DI. That is going to provide you 24 into 7 IT service availability. Right? Yeah, right. If high availability will be there and you have DR plan, disaster recovery plan, your business should be up and running at 24 to 7. Take example, yeah. this pandemic situation. We are mm. into uh, Corona pandemic situation. Everyone is, someone, someone is working, uh, working from, you know, uh, Barabanki. <laughs> someone is working from uh, 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 Gonda. Someone is working from Lucknow. So mm -hmm. it's still business is running. See, yeah. before before uh, pandemic situation in 2009, uh, before uh, 2020, in 19, if you ask your manager, I want to go to my hometown, uh, you know, somewhere in, in interior Nepal border. Okay. Can I go for one week and I will come back. I will work from there. Will your manager mm -hmm. allow that? No. No. <laughs> I know <laughs> this is not, I will not approve your leaves and all blah, 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 like that. Okay. Reason behind the mindset actually. Expectation was at a Nepal border, there will be no power supply. Getting my point? The first thing. Yeah. Second thing, they your manager was not sure that Anup is going to buy UPS or manage the power back of something. Or mm. Anup is also going to take my backup of Wi-Fi also. Mm. So you know the backup of Wi-Fi? The internet services, you back of yeah, Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you, can uh, you know, attach a small uh, UPS to backup yeah. your Wi-Fi, right? So... Prior to COVID-19 situation, nobody was thinking like that, actually. Getting my point? And yeah. that is called DR. If this pandemic is a DR kind of situation, sir. Yeah. After that, this team come into a picture. <laughs> disaster yeah. story. Before that, yes. no one is asking. Before that, there was a one-day disruption, two-day disruption. So nobody was taking serious the DR team, our BCP yeah. team, business continuity planning team, our DR team. But since last two years, our DR team is actively doing doing things and people mm -hmm. are, uh, you know, uh, like knowing that what is a DR actually. But see, the productivity of the IT resources is not down in pandemic situation. They're doing their best, you know, yeah. to deliver the yeah. product line, irrespective of product and timeline, uh, like domain actually, right? Yeah. So the problem is we are investing a lot into the physical data center, but we are not getting 100% HA and TR. That's a problem. 
Mm. Okay, in one liner, just uh, remember this thing. Because we are investing a lot, still we are not getting high availability and disaster recovery from the physical data center. It's a failure of an or investment. No ROI, right? Return of yeah, investment. Yeah, right, right. Okay, now things shifted from physical to virtual data center. What is virtual data center? Over to you. It's a virtual data center on cloud. And it is like you want a servers from different country, like you want to set up on Mexico or you want to set up on Australia. So you can ask them to provide the uh, DC over there and they will provide you the virtual DC and you can manage it. And as mm -hmm. well as end user can able to log in from anywhere through virtual machines. Mm -hmm. And there is a costing, there is a low costing and mm -hmm. Uh, the thing which you utilize, you have to pay according to it only. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a managed cost is over there. So like mm -hmm. they are, we do not have to manage the VMs. It is taken care by the different companies and the availability time is uh, like 24 hours. So we mm -hmm. do not have to care about it. And the resource part is mm -hmm. also like it will be reduced once it yes. moves towards better change. understanding yes yes see uh the gear shifted from physical to uh, virtual things so your hardware capabilities so in virtualization what we are going to do we are doing maximum utilization of our hardwares right we yeah. are virtualizing the hardware layer by using vmware esxi or citrix hypervisor or mm. microsoft you know hypervisor so mm -hmm. many hypervisors in the market, right? In the industry, yeah. you can use those and you can make best utilization of your physical data center. That's a beauty, right? So yeah. TCO got decreased and high availability or DR not got 100%, but you can achieve it until 90% or 95% through virtualization. Here it was like 50 to 60% only, okay? So great yeah. achievement from uh, physical to virtual okay now yeah. the last and not last is the third one hci what is hci you know hci uh, actually i'm not getting the full form right now it's no problem it's boring actually hyper converged infrastructure okay mm -hmm. yeah go ahead actually i do not know the detail of hci no problem no problem i am here to explain you so hci is like Hyper-converged infrastructure means your mm -hmm. data center within a box. Okay? Means okay. you have your hardware layer, your hypervisor layer, you're going to get your storage, your VMs, your VDI, everything inside it. Getting my point? Only what, okay. what you have to provide? You have to provide power supply. Okay? And you provide the networking connectivity. That's it. Okay. The benefit of SCI, beauty of SCI is for mostly small, uh, small companies, mid-sized companies, not large enterprises. It is applicable mid-sized projects. So it is going to give high, you heard about the HPC, high computing, you know, high computing things. So by mm -hmm. this, you are going to get your project delivered, especially you heard about BDI. We, yeah, virtual desktop, you Yes, virtual desktop. So it's very famous technology like Nutanix. Mm. Mm. Nutanix yeah. is one of the SCI player. And another example I will take as a Dell EMC V block, or uh, like VMware V block. And another one is Dell EMC VX Rail. So many examples. So now by combining these three, the combination of these three is your Azure cloud. Getting my point? So my yeah, uh, my purpose was to explain you to memorize to memorize your things because in our further discussion, in our deep dive session, I'm going to take example of this physical data center, virtual data center, HCI, and Azure Cloud. So Azure Cloud is nothing. So earlier, what was the scene? Earlier, like SCL has its own data center, right? Uh, yeah. Like. Uh, uh, IBM has its own data center. So what Microsoft did, Microsoft built or bought some data centers and they, uh, what they did actually, they 
they built their data center and made globally available earlier data center was like for the company itself means scl will be building the data center for its own use now business got changed companies are building their data, cent data center for global use they are selling their business by using physical data center capabilities virtual and hci that's a complete azure cloud any question no no simple questions. right it's yeah. very simple okay let's move on so how many types of cloud we have why i am telling this whiteboard session taking whiteboard session because these things you are not going to get into the ppt getting my point we will do yeah, yeah. that course so i'm giving yeah. you foundational things okay mm -hmm. so next thing is like how many types of clouds we have it's virtual cloud mm -hmm. uh, mm, and that's the rest i don't like know the name no. so private not, yeah private yeah nothing like um, nothing by name virtual cloud okay okay public and private your yeah and the last we can make it hybrid many people call it as hybrid and one more terminology we will see multi cloud okay the four types of cloud work yeah mainly you remember three type only i'm okay. just adding few more because these are the buzzwords nowadays and we'll discuss on premise what is on premise on premises is like uh, it's work in company environment only same like what we discussed on physical data center virtual yeah. data center this is on premise that's why i have explained you every time i'm going to reference the same you know the same whiteboard so you have to re recall yeah. those things okay so on premise clear let's get yeah. started with these things actually what are these so this is your public private hybrid multi cloud so multi cloud and hybrid is kind of you know uh, same similar but as definition people call it different but you you can understand same thing actually it's a similar but mm -hmm. uh, by definition it's different okay so mm. what is public public like it can be open for everyone yeah yeah and another cloud actually there community cloud okay okay that is not for enterprise uses that is for okay and research and you know for the community doing you know of uh, open source kind of uh, yeah 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 no. Com community cloud yeah open for everyone shared resources will be in the public cloud right you can mm -hmm. use it anywhere from any uh, you know any time so it's a shared resources uh, service provider uh, and we call this uh, cloud provider csp okay cloud service provider same like isp you can compare it internet service provider right so yeah. all the cloud players like csp the terminology we are going to use into our discussion so we remember do remember right so the public this is your public means azure cloud your aws mm -hmm. and gcp this three clouds example we are going to take okay what is private private which is used for uh, private companies uh, mm -hmm. so it is for mm -hmm. yeah so actually private mm -hmm. will be hosted into your on premise data center only okay okay so it's kind of on premise but i later i will discuss what is difference between on premise and private cloud i will tell you okay in okay. the later sessions so private is kind of dedicated cloud means scl using its own private cloud okay scl okay. or uh, take any uh, any example like government of india is using its own private cloud they are, they are not relying on a public cloud like azure or aws or gcp okay but yep. same vendors also providing uh, your private cloud also okay what is okay. hybrid hybrid like it uh, it is a both public and private both yes. can be used Com combination of these two right it's called hybrid yep. cloud and what is multi cloud multiply uh, multi cloud like you have told it is related to hybrid only azure you are yes. yeah plus gcp so combination of any two any more than two will be called as a multi cloud okay. but hybrid cloud is also similar okay so yeah. it's multi cloud word is very uh, confusing but don't make um, confuse yourself so be mm -hmm. uh, like multi cloud is kind of hybrid only and it's a combination of any two or public 
plus on premise will be also as a hybrid cloud kind of okay and community cloud is not important let's don't discuss okay, okay. now coming to private and on prem okay so i will take one example uh, like i work with the government of singapore because i have my own company also so we are not doing only training we are doing in implementation also transitioning for the companies so i worked uh, so like we work for uh, uh, government of singapore so uh, they they have their own lta department so the lta department is nothing that is a transport department like which running which is running your buses water buses metro you know those transport kind of thing in uh, singapore so mm. earlier their uh, data center was on premise and they they opted for private cloud and they have chosen gcc that's a, again azure product azure. microsoft product so government cloud computing Okay. Anyway, we are recording the sessions. You are going to you not to worry about the acronyms, all those things. You are going mm -hmm. to get recording of these sessions. So you if, if you have you want to go through again, just revise things because you have to also invest at least one or two hour daily to make yourself you know uh, to make use yourself uh, well versed with the cloud technologies. Okay, sir. Make yeah, sense? of course. Yeah, 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 of course. So because this one hour will be not sufficient. This one hour will be giving you direction. only okay you have to also invest your time offline so gcc is government cloud computing okay so what hap what will be happening uh, government cloud computing so like already uh, government of uh, uh, this uh, denmark actually they are already using government of uh, like united states they are already using this private cloud for defense services so same thing we implemented and defense was we use the same underlying on premise infrastructure of government of singapore like power supply networking their hardware you know so these mm -hmm. things will be common for private cloud but on top of it you are going to use azure azure services like azure iam identity and access management right compute mm -hmm. storage database backup blah 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 things right yep. but coming to on premise you are going to use your power supply your networking your you know hardware virtualization backup blah 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 lot of things right so here yep. you have Hundred vendors. Mm. I'm just guessing. It might be hundred plus, but I'm giving just one number to just to differentiate this. Here you have only ten vendors. I'm sorry. Oh, hold on, hold on. So get getting the difference now? Yeah, I'm getting the difference. So actually, not major difference, but yes. uh the bank we see uh, number of vendors and uh, and number of vendors are there or n minus 1 vendors are there what is better solution the and uh, like uh, less number of vendors are over there yes take take example suppose you have uh, you are building one you know uh, you are uh, you are building your home at gomtinagar okay mm -hmm. and you you want three four vendors so generally we choose one contractor yeah as a layman right this is a nice example so uh, why we choose one vendor only to construct our building why not four five vendors because uh, the headache will be not us and uh, like yeah. we have to manage the things yeah for the cement contractor you will be contact to the cement for the bricks contractor you are going to brick right again yeah. you are not going to get you know the piece of work you know you are investing a lot again you have you know a lot of tension actually right so that's yeah. why always less vendor is a like good thing right mm. uh, choice so here same thing happening you have 10 vendors how vendors are minimizing in azure gcc can you guess 
like they are uh, managing a thing through artificial intelligence or they are reducing their things mm-hmm. over there so actually maximum service 90% service will be used from the azure cloud ground yeah. computing only 10% you are dependent on your power supply your networking your hardware vendor like ibm hp dell right and mm-hmm. your uh, you know very less on other vendors here your dependency is logs this is kind of difference between private cloud and uh, on premise and second thing you are also getting better security in private cloud means you are going to uh, use world class tools what microsoft azure cloud is providing public cloud same kind mm-hmm. of uh, you, you can use within the private cloud that is not possible in on premise getting my point yeah. so investing a lot investment is also less and also on top of it you have less better security and it's still you have full control like on premise in your private cloud that control is not possible in public cloud okay okay i think it's clear now right yeah. let's quickly move on another terminology that's very common uh, we call it is pass and sas yeah what is the difference between these three so first one is infrastructure as a services and mm-hmm. second one is a platform as a services mm-hmm. and uh, third one is uh, sas is software as a service yeah software as a service so difference is like infrastructure as a services means like uh, infrastructure is prepared and we have to only provide the service over there like an, ex- uh, an example uh like you can take uh, like uh, online deliveries these days are having so they mm-hmm. have infrastructure and everything and just we have to order and they provide the service to us Mm-hmm. An example in the cloud word actually, or IT word actually. Okay. Mm. So in IT word, like we have prepared our infrastructure, our servers mm-hmm. and everything, and mm. the end mm. user is taking services from us only, assessing the things. Mm. Okay. Let's uh, okay. Let's understand this first. So okay. physical data center was there. virtual data center was there that mm-hmm. means there was a physical data center on top of it hypervisor was installed take example of vmware sxi right so okay. if it is installed that means you are going to get hypervisor already installed what you have to do in infrastructure as a service you are going to get complete back end infrastructure ready only what you have to do you go and create your vm your vdi your mm-hmm. server ready my point so yeah. actually infrastructure as a service means until hypervisor everything is ready okay? okay what you are going to do you are going to go there and you have to just create your vms as per your t-shirt size what is t-shirt size in um, in this reference means your configuration means mm-hmm. your how much cpu you want we have virtual cpu you want to assign how much virtual, uh, your ram you are you know going to assign mm-hmm. or your what will be your disk size ssd hsd those kind mm-hmm. of thing those those things known as t-shirt size okay yep. so infrastructure as an example is like vms vms in azure vms mm-hmm. okay and okay. in aws cloud i will take example at ec2 instance elastic cloud computing ec2 and in google cloud i will take example as a virtual instance vm same name i like the name different same thing okay okay so that's a infrastructure as a service okay now coming to pass so i think the in platform as a service in this everything is prepared hmm. and created only they have to use the service over there yes so similar kind of means infrastructure is all is already ready right mm-hmm. on top of it suppose you are a .net developer i am a java mm-hmm. developer so mm-hmm. i need i'm i need jdk environment or java environment right you need .net mm-hmm. environment so on top of it 
i s okay what what uh, azure cloud will do will do the garnishing of dotnet environment means uh, they will install dotnet framework on the servers on those servers right and they will, they will customize the environment and for me what they will do they will install the jdk sdk the java dependencies right mm -hmm. on the server yeah. side so right. what we are going to get we are just going to get environment of the java jdk or you know dot net kind of and play around so is plus our environment we are going to get in the pass and i will take another example you heard about containers yeah what is container so containers like uh, they are carry a uh, different uh, goods like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, no, no! Stop, 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 stop. Okay, so I'm talking about containers in IT services, not those things. Okay, so container mm -hmm. is same like VM, mm -hmm. same like server. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's a kind of server, but it's like uh, lightweight. Okay. You can compare with those con shipping containers, but it's exactly it is not. Mm -hmm. You can compare to understand those things, but container is like server. Okay. okay, so pass example I will take as a uh, container services within the Azure cloud will be example of pass. Mm. Okay, hosted solution okay. kind of, and the last not least, what is SaaS? SaaS is software as a services, and in mm -hmm. which like according to me, in which like different kind of software is already created, uh, and we have to use that service. Mm -hmm. like command line interface or mm -hmm. like dot net java you are saying so right or we have to build any softwares over there mm -hmm. yeah so actually sas mm -hmm. is like is plus pass okay? okay and you are going to get sas so easy to understand so okay. sas is nothing where you, as a end user you need not to do anything example take example of outlook mm -hmm. o365 mm -hmm. where everything is hosted on the azure cloud mm -hmm. you are just using outlook over the internet and that outlook you can open anywhere anytime remember earlier Earlier, when uh, this exchange was hosted in on-premise, profile issue, user is not able to launch the Outlook. No mm -hmm. nonsense issues, nonsense kind of issues were there actually. But now, yeah. when this moved into the cloud, complete a SaaS solution, it's kind of awesome. Okay. Yeah. Another thing, and uh, if if you because you have also pretty much experience, right? You heard about PST. Yeah. PST the go days gone actually after this O365 those bullshit yeah. you know PST you have to save in D drive <laughs> and mm. somewhere it got deleted my God my PST yeah. gone See, so mm. those days actually gone right yeah so another right. example take example of your remedy remedy is also on cl uh, cloud only right yeah it's not on premise solution in here mm. right now they are using their inbuilt remedy over here. Uh, on premise yeah so i will not take this example sir okay so i will take hmm. example of uh service now snow you heard about yeah service now service now snow so snow is a cloud solution right which mm -hmm. you can access from anywhere you customize it and you use it right so these are yeah. uh, a few examples related with is pass and sas okay any question hmm. no no, let's jump on then uh, our presentation, our, you know. So these foundational things are required actually to understand things. Else I will give examples. So you will, okay, what is this? What is this? So that thing I already cleared out earlier. Okay. So you are going to get a best documentation from here because Microsoft is supporting me in the back end. Okay. okay. <laughs> because I'm in MCT, right? <laughs> Yeah. 
I will share. Actually, I forgot to share the document with you. I will share today. Sure. So, in Lucknow, where are you actually? I live in Hazrat Ganj, uh, okay. nearby Zoo. Narai? Yeah, Narai. Oh, mem old memories, sir. I was also there. Okay. 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 Actually, I did my uh, this BTEC from BVD. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I was for a few years in hostel and a few years in outside hostel. Okay, now. So, currently I'm in Hyderabad. Okay, presently you are working in Hyderabad right now. Yeah, Hyderabad, right. I'm loving it. Because uh, no pollution and COVID-19 situation is also in control. Not too much cases. Okay. Right. There we go. I think this is the... Hmm. So if you have a lot of documentation, it's also a problem, you know, which one you I can refer actually. Of course. So you are providing training for cyber security as well. Yeah, yeah, many product lines, sir. You will get confused. Don't focus on those things, actually. <laughs> mm. Because journey starting from GSD, uh, it's not easy, actually. It's a lot of stuff earlier, but yeah, finally I made it. Okay. This is not. Which one? This is this. It's a problem. Give me a minute. So you have worked with Shekhar Gupta and Pradeep Rai, I think. Yeah, so uh, no, those were actually uh, new for me, actually, because I I left already. Mm. Without, before game begins, you know, in SEZ. Yeah. I left SCL, actually. Okay. So they were actually, uh, I will say, architects of, you know, the GSD. They mm. came later, actually. I already left. So I don't love com companies, actually, mostly. I love the composition part, sir. Okay? Yep. <laughs> because <laughs> companies are, you know, no hike, no appraisal, sir. It's boring, no? So why wasting yeah. time? Because... Yeah. Now... So... Got it. I need this one. Okay. So I, I, I will upload on uh, Google Drive, same thing, and I will share with you. So you okay. can also, so before sessions, you can also walk through. That will give you, you know, it's uh, boost up, yep. you know, start yeah, yeah. self preparation kind of. Okay. So uh, before starting AZ104, there is another certification, AZ900. Mm -hmm. And you might be aware about that. Right? Yeah. But that is, fundamental. that is fundamentals, right. So mm -hmm. actually, this that AZ900 is not for technical people, actually. Uh, so that, is for, that, is, that, that is for especially pre-sales team, and marketing people, you know, so mm -hmm. of the projects in the companies. So it is not for technical people. The technical journey starts from AZ104, Azure mm -hmm. Administrator. And prior to AZ104, the certification name was AZ103. And one or two years back, it was a different name. So any reason why Microsoft changing the certification names frequently? 
think so they are upgrading their things mm -hmm. so actually again microsoft is not loving our certifications they're loving money actually yeah <laughs> it okay. will expire and then again <laughs> yeah. to do. so mo due to monetary benefits what they're doing actually because anoop set is already az1045 mm. so now he what will do he will take one uh, um, bullet a red red color bullet and he start from gomti nagar and he will go to hajratgan and then come back i'm already az1044 but microsoft don't want anoop to do this since uh, next five years no only one or two year you can enjoy your certification by sitting yeah. on your you know uh, fun But yeah. why so because if you are not going to do another certification right fresh certification you have yeah. to renew your certification again on renewal you are going to invest something tcu yeah. will come into the picture right so uh that's why you know, microsoft uh, earlier they were not doing that much but nowadays they're doing too much actually and if you mm. compare with aws and gcp they are far behind you know they are doing you know every one uh, every year in 2020 103 and now to, to, uh, you know in 2019 and now 2022 they changed 104 and all certification got changed sir okay, okay. that's the beauty of uh, microsoft so i will type my name here so this is the picture see how the microsoft giving benefits to us i have to just type now name here only okay everything yeah. is already ready yeah that, that's a good thing so i will focus on this actually just read one by one cloud administrator manage the cloud services that span a storage networking and compute cloud capabilities with a deep understanding of each service across the full it life cycle okay wait hold on so actually the problem with the cloud administrator is he has he or she has to know everything actually i know that's hmm. a problem earlier as like you are network administrator hey i'm a network administrator i will manage the networking a host uh, someone b is a storage administrator and another c person backup administrator you <laughs> getting my point someone yeah, is getting... linux administrator Mm -hmm. hey d will do only windows administrator so cloud change the landscape actually now if you want to be cloud administrator you have to do storage part you have to perform mm -hmm. backup you have to manage linux administration windows administration firewall setting networking blah 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 things yeah. so as a azure cloud administrator you have to take care of active directory you have to take care of compute okay everything so you are not restricted to any product line so you have to manage storage networking compute means nothing that's your vm servers container services right and you should know complete life cycle of your it services landscape okay sir okay just read second line the take and user request for new cloud applications and make recommendations on services to use for optional performance and scale as well as provision capacity monitor and adjust as appropriate this role requires communicating and coordinating with vendors so like suppose your on premise application is running right and you yeah. migrated that application into the azure cloud so as mm -hmm. a azure administrator what will be your role just to manage the applications provide the access you know and improving the performance uh, scalability high availability dr remember h and yeah. dr these two things will come everywhere so where we talk is scalability your high availability your disaster recovery everything will come to the picture and monitoring is a major thing actually in the it business right and yeah, what is right. the benefit of the monitoring monitoring like we get a alerts in advance that and we know that where the things are getting uh, down so we can focus on that and make it visible yeah and what you are doing in uh, your team is doing in gst for monitoring what tool they are using nagios or different tool 
no so monitoring part we are not doing we are only uh, like uh, pulling the reports and like remedy mm -hmm. reports and ast mm -hmm. handling ever so these kind of things so we are not using any monitoring tool only mm -hmm. like we are using sapiens support over there so we are like how how many mm -hmm. time engineers has consumed on their systems and those kind mm -hmm. of things yeah so in in our days actually monitoring part was also our job so like nagios you know nagios monitoring everything mm -hmm. we were doing in monitoring part we are going to alerting for those monitoring and we mm -hmm. escalating to the respective customer uh, respective mm -hmm. stakeholders domain holders actually right yeah. so so right now they have built the different teams mm -hmm. for each and every part uh, got it so that was the starting phase actually five members <laughs> doing everything actually yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah uh, just read the third line so third thing <laughs> cloud administrator use the azure portal and as they become more proficient they use powershell and the command line interface yeah so actually uh, azure portal is uh, like gui interface yeah okay graphically. where you can manage everything and mm. you can play around and also you have powershell and command line interfaces available where you have to not more proficient you have to use mm. those things because many things are possible from the powershell and command line is scripting only you know yeah, the portal yeah. thing is okay but mostly we are for automation and everything mm -hmm. we are going to use powershell and command line interfaces okay. any question any doubt no 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 doubt just read the last last line actually successful cloud administrators start this role with experience on operating system virtualization cloud infrastructure storage storage structure and networking so <laughs> same thing actually just i'm repeating as yeah. a cloud administrator you have to know everything nothing is uh, nothing is remaining i uh, know right <laughs> we are yeah. talking about operating system so operating system me doesn't mean uh, it's only talking about windows and uh, os no it's also talking about linux centos ubuntu mm. you know and yeah. virtualization need not to tell you must heard about everything about those things right yeah, cloud yeah. infrastructure storage networking nothing is you know remaining to you know read it's covering everything actually right mm, yeah right so these are the uh, prerequisites uh, you should know so what i will do you, you you can read it offline okay i will share this document with you on google drive okay 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 so you go through with it okay the prerequisites mm -hmm. part okay and mm -hmm. uh, this is the like uh, course outline which already i shared with you if i remember yeah 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 i right? went through it yeah. so the identity part is like active directory part we will be starting first mm -hmm. okay azure active directory okay mm -hmm. and i uh, will also make you understand what is active directory and what are the major differences between these two and how mm -hmm. hybrid identity work that's a important role okay Okay. so in the course outline you will see nothing is the, uh, nothing is remaining it's covering everything actually so mm -hmm. you should know everything in and out then you will understand you will you will you will be calling as you will be called as as your administrator right yeah right these are the certification areas all those things so like day to day to, but our uh, training is in different module that is for our mm -hmm. corporate training when we do the corporate for like big corporates like five days four days training but we are mm -hmm. into monthly attachment right monthly contract we'll be doing a daily one hour so that will be covering within the one month time 20 hours okay so the okay. first certification is az900 that's the fundamental that's not mm -hmm. mandatory it's optional mm -hmm. okay and then we have uh, microsoft azure administrator associate means az104 it's associate certification and the mm -hmm. final and the top level certification in Azure Administrator is Microsoft Certified Azure Solution Architect Expert. You have to complete mm -hmm. AZ303, 304, then you will be expert. Okay. This okay. is the, uh, you know, uh, thing. So another thing I'm going to assign in the lab part, you go and create your, you have already access on Azure portal. Yeah, actually, I'm managing the company as your portal right now. I do not have too much rights over there. But you have minimum, right? Yeah. Bare minimum. You can create VM and you can delete it. Not a problem, right? 
no no vm cannot be created over there do not have the so we are only like uh, using it for the account purposes like resetting mm -hmm. the password and all those kind mm -hmm. of thing very limited so i can remember my gsdd is still same thing is happening here yeah we have everything but we don't have any access mm. right okay not a problem so what you can do you can go here i will send you a link you just create your personal you know you are going to get 200 us dollars free okay as your free tier free trial subscription actually and i will i will walk through you you have to use your debit card or credit card one rupees will be deducted and it will be refunded within 12 hours that one rupee okay okay so need not to worry so zero investment actually and maximum benefit by mistake i ping someone else you know see okay this chat should go to you let's connect in 20 minutes and i uh, you know uh, one person sitting in kuala lumpur i sent to him and he also okay connecting and you are here sir <laughs> no message to you yeah okay so uh, that's also you know morning lazy hours yeah mm. so you can walk through it and just create it you have to click, uh, cl click on this start free and smartly you have to use it and i will also go guide how to use it actually okay like a, a smart azure administrator you can use any, any any email id of yours gmail or hotmail anything you have right so okay. create your this account uh, okay and mm -hmm. i'm going to share this prerequisites for with you okay the documentation mm -hmm. you go through with it and uh, tomorrow most probably i will be starting uh, identity solution means azure active directory okay if you can uh, yeah yeah if you can uh, walk through some active directory things uh, initially yeah i have, that, yeah, I have yeah. gone to the video on youtube with active okay. directory that's that is that is that will be beneficial for you because a lot of things are there actually we we'll try to cover mm -hmm. azure cloud thing and mm -hmm. there will start okay mm -hmm.